Hi, I'm Patrick Keene here with Tanya Evinger, Colleen Schneider, Livia Renata Souza, Angela Hill, Christine Stanley, Amanda Bell, Kalini Medeiros, MMA fighter Megan Anderson. Megan, thanks for joining me. No worries. Thanks for having me. <laughs> uh, how long have you been fighting? Uh, all your life? As a little kid, you were a scrapper? Uh, no, I just started fighting after I uh, graduated from college. So um, I just picked it up as a hobby and then, you know, really like beating girls up and decided to go full throttle with it. Uh, Colleen, how you doing? I'm good, Patrick. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Absol <laughs> absolutely. It's... Uh, <laughs> It's wonderful. It's, it's representative of my, uh, my feelings towards <laughs> <laughs> Wilted and not there. Okay. Uh, have you always been into martial arts? Have you always been into sports? Uh, have you just been an athlete in general? or? I've always been in uh, putting my hands on people. So yeah. I really like that. I really like Sports that. like that, yeah. Wow, you must have been an athlete growing up then. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. What other sports? Uh, I played soccer um, for most of my high school career. And then I, after that, I was just fat for a long time. So. You, you're fat. you know, you're the second fighter who said they're fat. I don't. I think your measurement of what's fat and I was fat. I was, I'm not really that fat anymore. I'm a little fat right now, but I was fat for a while. I was like 200 pounds. So you were 200 pounds. Yeah, I ate a lot of hamburgers. Did you? I did like softball, softball for a summer, but never really got to like fight or do like karate. I always wanted to do like karate or taekwondo, and it never happened. My mom thought it was too violent, so. In your face, mom. No. <laughs> I was extremely unathletic as a child. I was so bad. Like MMA, I started when I was 23. Um, so, like, it seriously was like the only sport that I kind of picked up that I was good at. So, when I came from Brazil, I was just a soccer player. I was a dancer. I used to do frevo dance. It's a very popular dance in my area in Brazil. Very cool. Now you went to Cal. Is that right? You went to Cal Berkeley? I did. Okay, so that's good. Um, I didn't go to Cal. Did you play sports <laughs> growing up? Did you were you an athlete growing up or, or? Um, yes, I have always I've always done sports. Uh, track, soccer, karate, taekwondo. Oh wow, okay. So this is I rode crew in college at Cal. Jesus. Too. Yeah. That's a lot of different things. Yeah, it is. All right. it is. What kind of music do you like? What what's a typical MMA fighter or typical female Australian person like music wise? Um, I like anything really. Um, I, I like a lot of Aussie hip hop, and and it's pronounced Aussie, right? We, we Americans sometimes say Aussie. Do we? Do we? Yeah. Among other <laughs> things that we get wrong, is that one of them? Yeah, I I get that a lot, but I'm so I'm so used to it now that I don't really pay that much attention. So. Right, and a lot of do a lot of Americans think you're from England sometimes? Yeah, a lot actually. It's it's very weird, but uh, your hair is excellent. You get a lot of compliments on your hair. I do all the time. Can we do something like that with this, do you think? I mean, or am I a hopeless cause? Of course. Yeah. Do you want me to do it? Maybe, yeah, yeah. We'll I talk afterwards. I upstairs. I can do it. Oh, do you have, oh that's do. all it takes us curlers? Is it long enough? Yeah, I mean, I'm blue on the inside my whole life, so. Okay, okay, I'll do it if you want to. All right, perfect. Do you, do you follow other sports? Are you a football fan? Are you a basketball fan? NBA playoffs are going on right now. Does that concern you at all? Uh, I like wrestling, um, but uh, no, I don't follow any sports unless I'm involved. So I like to play sports. I'm not really like to watch sports. You don't like to sit around and watch. Unless there's like food and alcohol, maybe I can sit around and titties. God, I like I like that last one. I like all three, but yeah, <laughs> I think we're gonna have a beginning of a beautiful friendship yeah. here. <laughs> I really like cats, though. I'm really into cats right now. That's kind of my thing. Yeah. Cats, the, the musical. No, it's cats oh. in general. They don't give me BS. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Cats are kind of like fighters where, like, no matter how nice you are to your own cat that, and you've owned it for years, it could still bite. Yeah. Uh, were there athletes you looked up to as role models growing up that you worshipped? I remember really liking Michael Jordan when I was a kid. I don't what, know. What's it? Michael? Michael Jordan, the basketball player. Oh, basketball. Yeah. Take us through your tattoos a little bit. Um, I've got a lot of tattoos. Uh, they all have, like, different meanings. Um, but, like, it's... It's not really like very. There's a skull. There's a skull. The skulls must represent love and peace. Oh, of course. I could not care less about football. Yeah, I almost said it improperly. It drives me pe crazy when people say I could care less when because they mean. That means right. Right. It means you do you do you care do about care. it somewhat. I'm glad we're on the same page. We though. are on the same. This might work out. It's like when when people say I don't give a shit or I I couldn't give a sh <laughs> shit when when people say that. Because. <laughs> mm. She said yes, guys. She said yes. You're very good. Were you were you raised learning English or just recently? Because your English is very good. I was wondering how you learn a second language. 
I always I always improve my my English with the online games. Do you know? I don't like the classes. I'm gangsta fuckers. Is there any term you can teach me uh, about uh, Portuguese? Uh, important term that I should learn? Oh man, that's uh, complicated to Americans learn a, a little of Portuguese. But the most important words it's cuidado, roubo, tiro, favela, rap, bundas, gostosas. Do you know? Gostosas. Gostosas, like hot girls. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. Always good. Always good learning it, it, man. Yeah, I think. Pay, pay attention. I always like gostosas, bunda grande. Bunda grande, big butt, you know. Everybody likes big butts. I mean, yeah, not everybody, but... Ah, the most people likes. Most you know? people are. Most people, do you know. Right, man, you got it. And how do you envision this weekend going? I mean, are you are you going for the knockout? Are you just trying to survive? Are you, uh, or, or, or does it just depend? Anything, anything goes, right? <laughs> try to survive? She's going to try to survive against me. <laughs> I'm gonna push the pace, I'm gonna be on half face, I'm gonna be taking a head down, I'm gonna be ground and pound, and I'm gonna see the open, and guess what? I'm gonna submit her or TKO her, for sure. Mine's almost naturally that color. Red hair on women looks good, I don't know if it looks good on men. <laughs> right? The best part about that was the completely straight face oh, with yeah, which yeah, you yeah, asked yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if it looks good on men. Yeah, yeah. Um, so <laughs> you're asking me what I think, but I like the, the little the little peppering. There's a little of pepper in there. We got in there's there. Little, no, it's good. It's, the contrast gray. is good. I like yeah. it. Yeah. It's yeah. weird for a 25 year old to have this. Well, guys, uh, pay attention in my fight. Another fight, another win. And do you know, man? Always gangsta. Univer ghetto. Originals. Any uh, any words of wisdom for young athletes? Um. It's like, I guess it's, it's not easy, uh, particularly, you know, for female, for female athletes um, starting out in the sport. Um, I definitely recommend finding a gym that is super supportive because I, I've been at gyms and I've seen gyms where, um, you know, they don't really treat the female athletes as equals to the males, which, you know, it, it happens, but like definitely do your research research find a gym that's like super supportive that they want to grow you as much as any other athlete in the gym and you know that's what i found at glory mma and fitness and i don't want to you know i wouldn't want to train anywhere else now so okay any uh any last words or a message you want to leave for your fans or fight fans in general yeah make sure you watch on saturday night because you're gonna watch me beat up a brazilian for usa keep america great or something. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> make it get, make America great or keep it great. Some people don't think it's great anymore. I think it's great already. Yeah, so yeah, good. keep America great. Hashtag fill the burn. Uh, th I was such an idiot because I read and I was thinking because Thoroughbred, obviously, the nickname, it's cool. And I was like, oh, like the old Budweiser commercials. The ho around the holidays, dun 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 like the dun dun. The Clydesdales. They're Clydesdales, not Thoroughbreds. I'm glad that's where your head went with it, though. So, so that's... <laughs> So I realized that as the interview was starting, I'm like, oh, that's a wrong horse. I'm going to make a beer reference and a wrong horse reference, and we'll just see how that goes over. Right, and tied in with football, which you couldn't care less about. Oh! Invicta 17, guys. We'll see you on Saturday. All right, thank you. Megan Anderson, guys, Invicta 17. Thanks, guys. So come join us, Invicta 17, on Saturday. <laughs> Livia Enata Souza. Awesome.